What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create this cool title reveal animation inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So with Adobe Premiere Pro open the first thing you'll want to do is go up to your workspaces button and go up to captions and graphics. This will change the workspace so that you can work with graphics inside Premiere Pro. Next we're going to create our text by going up to our type tool, click on it and then click in the program monitor and type out your text. Then you can go back to your selection tool, click and drag the corners to make it larger, and then you can play with the settings to the right hand side inside the essential graphics panel. The first thing I'm going to do is change the text. So a good text that I like to use is called Avenir, and I always like to go with heavy. I'm going to change the paragraph settings to center, that way it's center aligned. And then up to the align and transform menu, I'm going to click align vertically and align horizontally. Now one cool feature inside the latest version of Premiere Pro is that you can now add gradient fills to your text layers. So to do that you can go under appearance and click on the space next to fill. Then in the color picker menu you can click on the drop down and click on linear gradient. Then you can choose your custom colors. We'll click on this color and maybe we go with a blue color. Click on the other color and maybe a darker blue color. That way we have a nice blue gradient type of look. You can change the angle here. If you don't want 90 degrees, you can change it to maybe offset the angle a little bit and then click OK once you're satisfied. The next step is to actually create the line that reveals the text. So from your tools menu, click on the rectangle tool and then click and draw a nice thin line to reveal your text. Then we're going to just center this up here to our window, then go back to the selection tool to click and move it down below to kind of where it's going to end as it reveals it. Then we'll just rename this by clicking in the top right hand corner and we'll just name this line. So the next step is to actually create the mat that the text actually lives in. This will make sense in a little bit, just kind of follow along. Click on the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle around the text. Then we'll just rename this mat by double clicking and naming it mat. And then what you'll want to do is click and drag this right above the text reveal layer. Now the key here is to click on this mat and click on mask with shape. And like I mentioned, it will basically put the text in this shape layer. So you'll notice when we move this matte shape layer, the text is only inside the shape. So the key here is to pin the matte to that line and basically wherever the line goes, the matte will follow it, hence revealing the text. Under pin two, you'll want to change it to line. And then to the right hand side, you'll want to actually pin it to whichever side. In this case, I'm just going to click on the center. And now you'll notice when we click on line and we move it, the mat reveals the text when the line goes down. Pretty cool, right? All right, so the final step in this is to actually animate the line. So to do that, you'll want to go up to your effects controls panel. And if you don't see this, go up to window effects controls. And where you want to go is actually under shape line. Be sure you're not under vector motion or the other motion parameters. It's important to just animate the line. And what you'll want to do first is, is kind of put the, put it into position where it's going to start at. So we're going to kind of go up a little bit and then we'll change the scale first. So we'll hit the time stop watch and change the scale value down to zero. We'll move forward five frames by holding down shift right arrow, and then we'll change the value to 100. Then we can animate the position. So we'll click the position parameter, go forward about 15 frames by holding down shift right arrow about three times, and then change the Y value of the position down to that end. And then what I did is just animate the opacity. So just click on the stopwatch, go forward about maybe five frames and change it down to zero. You'll notice that we're actually overextended in our clip. We'll just drag the side of this to kind of go out, give us ourselves a little bit more room. And we can fine tune this a little bit more. We can add some easy ease. So we can right click, go into ease in, and then be ease out of the position parameter and ease in on the final landing point. Opacity, you can't really tell the difference on easing in and easing out that much. But one cool thing that I did do is that while it kind of fades out as it kind of hits that final point here. And what I also did is animated the text reveal text so it goes up a little bit as it's kind of going down. That makes a lot of sense. But what I did is basically as the line goes down, the text is kind of going up a little bit. So to do that, go up into your 
text layer and then just kind of keyframe the position of this one a little bit. I'll just make a keyframe, go back a little bit, and kind of push it down. And then drag this guy out. So it kind of just looks like it's going up a little bit. I'll bring that in a little bit. There we go. It kind of gives it a little bit of a contrast. So you got text kind of coming up a little bit. Now we can fine tune this with the handlebars a little bit if you want to deep dive a little bit more on the animation. To do that, I'm going to go back into the shape line and we'll just make this full screen a little bit. And then you can click on the drop down arrows next to scale and position. And what you can do is click on the keyframe and kind of adjust these handlebars so they're a little bit more smoother. Same with the position, just click on the keyframe can I go in a little bit more? I know the end for the position needs a little bit more work there. And we'll collapse it by hitting tilde, and we'll see what happens. There, that looks a little bit more organic. It is a little fast, so I'm going to actually extend it a little bit so it, you have a little bit more time with the animation. So what I'm going to do is just extend this in the timeline, click on the graphic, I'm going to hit tilde to bring these up full screen. I'm going to click on these end keyframes. I'm going to bring it out a little bit. The same with the beginning. I'm going to click on these two keyframes and move them out a little bit. Kind of give ourselves a little bit more breathing room here with these graphics. And same thing if we go down to our text reveal. I'm going to just move this to the right a little bit. That way it's a little bit longer. So this is the end result, guys. This is what we created so far. Looks pretty good. Nice, smooth text reveal animation. And if you want to learn a bit more about text, maybe how to make text pop from the background a little bit more, I did make a few tutorials going over that. I'll link one right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.